Hey guys, it's me, Robert. Back again. Um, this is a quick video. I'm using my uh, Epson printer. And we're going to supplement a few things really quick. And this is some butcher paper I have right here. And these are some masks. If anyone needs any masks, let me know. I can get you a pretty good deal on some masks. These are sublimation. We can get them in the black outline, and then we can get them in the uh, white outline with the full polyester. And this is going to be uh, a little hawk mask. All I'm going to do is make sure I'm on my button or my that area and all I'm doing is making sure I'm fitting in the area that I need and then I'm grabbing another piece to throw over the top And here we go. I'm pressing these at 400 degrees, um, right around 40 seconds. And you're watching, just like I'm watching. This is the first time I'm pressing these ones. Um, and we're going to see how it goes. The ink, when we've been using these on some of the other stuff, it's been coming out really good. You'll have to do like a match to get your colors correct on it. Because some of my colors aren't what's showing on my screen, which is common on sublimation. So you want to do like a color match. And there you go. An incredible hawk and you guys can see and then other things you can see how much um the paper that i'm using this is actually just standard printer paper i'm not using any specialty paper or anything like that so it kind of gives you an idea people always ask can you use normal paper and yes you can that's just normal copy paper that i use um and it's supplemented um there's that one i'm gonna do another one really quick I'm just going to pitch the paper down. I'm going to pitch that one down there to set that one up. These also have the, if anyone is interested, they have the pouch in there so you can hide your money inside of there. Um, I'm going to do the same thing, just kind of get it lined up. And we're going to run another one in this one. All I'm doing is feeling where the seams are on here. I'm trying to get it as centered, centered as I can. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to throw another piece of paper on top of this. Just so it doesn't bleed through. And we're good to go. Here we go again. The setup that I'm using, I'm using the Epson ET15000. I'm using Epson uh, Sublimation Ink. I'm using just standard paper. And then even like the, this paper, this cheap butcher paper. You can get it in the roll for like $10, $15 for a massive roll. Um... Here's the roll size. Kind of gives you guys an idea. Big old roll, super cheap. And then 
like I said, butcher paper on the bottom, butcher paper on top. I'm running 400 degrees, um, right around 40 seconds. And there's another mask we just did really quick. What I'm also going to do is show you guys a pair of socks really quick. Um, we're done with these ones now. Doing the same thing, just put your paper on there. And what I'm doing, I'm going to do the front and then the back. Um, you can do two at a time. You can do it a bunch of different ways. It's personal choice. Um, these are a pair of socks for my nephew. And pretty much same thing, 400 degrees, um, right around 40 seconds. You can adjust that out a little bit. Um, another thing you guys can do too if you're looking for cheap media is you can go to like Walmart and then the brand and One Socks. Um, they'll supplement out, they'll work fine. Um, they're 100% polyester or like 98% polyester. And so if you're wanting to get a pair or try some socks and some other stuff cheap, local, you can do that. So you can get a pair of socks for like 50 cents or a dollar a pair somewhere in that price range. And they'll work just as good as like the silky socks and all that. This are, these are silky socks I've got right here. Um, I have some of each. And what I'm going to do is just you can roll the edge if you want. I'm not really too concerned just because this pattern that we did, it's not really anything really special. On the bottom, I'm just going to leave that there. Do that. Grab another one of my transfers set it up and then back at it again I'm doing like I said one sock at a time right now you could put two on there honestly that's probably the easiest way um, I'm just doing it this way just to show you what it looks like um, no big rush or anything just give you an idea let you see the color and all that, how they come out. Again, these are the masks where them are drying. You see how the mask came out. These are polyester mask, the black outline. These are polyester on the outside of the white ones. So the white will poly, uh, sublimate if you're printing all the way around them. Like I said, these are some masks. If you need masks, let me know. We can help you out, hook you up with some masks. And like I said, these are some socks right here just to show you that the socks will work. And and there's the socks. Just to give you an idea how they came out. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. We'll make some more videos. If you don't mind, hit the like button, subscribe. If you guys have any questions about supplies or anything, let me know. We'll put a try to put a link in the description at the bottom. Thanks again. Peace out.